Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at splitting data into different columns. Here we've got our sample data of a first name and last name for 10 different customers. What we're going to do here is split that last name into another column. So what we can do to start off is highlight the data and if we then go to the data tab and then select the text to columns option we will then make sure it's in the delimited option so we can separate the data with characters such as commas. We then click on next. Rather than commas being the delimiter, we will use the space. And we can already see here that the data has already been split into first name and last name. We now go to finish. We can see that as easy as that, the data has been split. This is a hugely beneficial thing to use in Excel as it can save you a huge amount of time, especially when you're working with large data sets. So another example that we've got here is that we've got five different football teams with their stadiums and the country that they're based in. What we're going to do again, the data is already highlighted, so we're going to go to back to text to columns. Again, use the delimited option. Click next. Rather than space this time, we're going to use the comma so that the data is separated into different columns appropriately. So if we use comma, we can now see that it's been separated into different columns correctly where we've got the stadium, the country, and the football team. We now select finish. You can now see that that is now ready to be used and in the correct separate columns. Again, this is a very useful approach to take when using Excel and uh, definitely one that I'd highly recommend. Thank you for watching.